Hey, what's up guys? Dan Carr here from Shuttermuse.com. Today we're doing a Lightroom tutorial that's also a Luminar tutorial. So Luminar, for those that aren't familiar, is a standalone editing program or a Lightroom and Photoshop plugin from Skylum Software. Skylum, formerly MacFun Software. Uh, Luminar is growing in popularity. It's a wonderful piece of software. I've integrated it into my own workflow. Um, it has a lot of really powerful editing features um, that go over and above what you're able to do in Lightroom because you can add layers. So you can use layers, layer masking, um, layer blend modes as you would in Photoshop. Now, there's a few different ways to make these two programs uh, mesh together really well though. So we're talking Lightroom and um, Luminar here. Now, the first way that we'll talk about is just setting it up as a plugin. So if you've got Luminar open, um, what you're going to want to do is come to the Luminar option, top left menu option here, and go to install plugins. Now, here you'll see it's found Photoshop and Lightroom on my system. And if you're using this for the first time, this will actually say install here, and you just click these two buttons, and it's going to add the plugins for these programs here. You've obviously got um, Aperture and Photoshop Elements options here as well if you happen to have those installed. So that is the first piece of the puzzle. So we're going to do that. We'll click Done. Now if we come over to Lightroom, what we'll have now is Luminar set up as a plugin. So when you right click on an image from, uh, from within Lightroom, if you go to the export option in the menu, you'll have all of your various export options. And down here, you'll have Luminar 2018. Uh, in this case, it might be a later version, depends when you're watching this video. Uh, but here we have edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments and open source files. So you can open the original files or you can apply Lightroom adjustments and then take that Lightroom edited version into Luminar. So that's option number one. That's kind of the standard way to do things if you have a lot of plugins. Um, this is great, and if you click Done once you're editing in Luminar, it will import the Luminar edited photo back into your Lightroom catalog. But there's an even better way to do this, and this one isn't quite as obvious uh, because it depends on how you want to set up your system, but I think this is going to be a great way for most of you guys to do this. We're going to get an extra little feature out of this. So what we're going to do this time is we're actually going to go to Lightroom, we're going to go to Preferences, and once you open up Preferences, we're going to make sure we're in the External Editing tab. Now, a lot of people will be familiar with using this first section here. Uh, if you have a Creative Cloud subscription, then you'll have Photoshop, and Photoshop will be set up as an external editor um, by default. So that allows you to choose whether you want a TIFF or a PSD opened into Photoshop. You can choose a color space, bit depth, resolution. And you can also change uh, the file name that gets saved back into the Lightroom catalog once you've done the edit. So it comes back in, in my instance here, with the default, which is file name dash edit. Okay, so this allows you as well to set an additional external editor. We can see that here. Now, this is interesting because by default, there is no um, additional external editor here. Lightroom allows you to define one extra editor. Now, if you have lots of external editing programs, then you're gonna to have to pick your favorite. In this instance, for this tutorial, I'm assuming that Luminar is your other favorite external editor, and that's what we're gonna talk about here. So basically, uh, you choose your application, so you just click the Choose button, and then from a list of applications on your computer, you choose Luminar. Then you choose the file format, color space, bit depth. Um, if you've chosen a TIFF, then you have a compression option here. And what this is um, gonna do, though, is give us this extra option here, stack with original. So if you save by using the plugin version that we saw earlier, uh, if you save from Luminar, it'll bring the saved image back into the catalog, but it doesn't stack it with the original. If you use this additional external editor option to specify Luminar, then we get this option here, stack with original, and this is awesome. Uh, so in this case, what we would do is we would right click on the image, and before we went to export, actually this time what we're gonna do is go to edit in. Now you will see here, edit in Luminar 2018 is right underneath edit in Adobe Photoshop. So this is what happens when you specify that additional external editor. Now when we open the image in Luminar in this way, once we perform the edit and we click, we click done, it brings the edited version back into the catalog, but it also stacks it with the original. So here we have an, an example. This is my original raw file, which I have right here. Uh, and this is an adjustment that I made uh, in Luminar, 
okay? And we'll see that it's actually a stack. So we can see this one of two and two of two there. And if I click this, we can collapse that stack. So all of the edited versions of that photo will be stacked together. And we can actually keep opening those photos into Luminar to make different edits and it will stack them together. So if you're trying to organize lots and lots of files and lots of different edited versions, then being able to automatically stack them is awesome. If you use the plugin method that we saw before where it brings the file back in but doesn't auto stack it, you can manually stack it by selecting the files, right clicking on it, and just going down to stacking and group into stack, but it's so much nicer to have that done automatically for you. So if you don't already have a second external editor set up, and most people don't, most people aren't really aware that this is an option, um, then I would definitely recommend going to preferences, going to external editor, and specifying Luminar as your external editor here. Then you'll be able to stack with the original, and you also have more control over how those files are opened from Lightroom into Luminar. All right, hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.